Hi, it's Barbara, and welcome back to Wiki Design. Today I'm going to show you how to create a multi step contact form using Elementor Pro. Multi step forms can really be useful if you need to collect a lot of information on your website. Recently, we worked with a client that was doing small group coaching sessions via Zoom. One of the things that she requested was the ability to collect the name and email address for everyone that was going to be in the group. That way, she can know exactly who she was working with and send each person their details individually via email. I thought that this was a great use case for Elementor Pro's multi-step contact form because she needed to collect quite a bit of information. And instead of having it all in one long form, we could break it up into different steps. With Elementor Pro's form widget, you can easily create a multi-step contact form, and today I'm going to show you how to do that. I've created a new page on a testing server, and I've added a form widget and already began to add some fields and do some styling. With multi-step forms, what I like to do is give the form a title for every step that you're on. It just makes it a little bit easier and lets people know what they're doing on that step. In order to do that, I created a form field called HTML. Let me show you that here. So if we click on this first field that says item one, you can see that the type of field is HTML and I put in some HTML tags in here. Now you can put in whatever HTML tags you want. I kept it simple. I just wanted a heading to tag so we can have a nice heading at the top of this section. But if you need to add some additional information, feel free to do that. Just like any other form, you can add as many fields as you want to each step and you can style it and do whatever you need to make it look good. One of the things that I really like about Elementor is that they make form styling so easy. To be honest, forms are one of the things that I really do not like doing when it comes to web design. Uh, before Elementor Pro, I found them to be very tedious and very hard to style. So I really like that they make this easy and you can style for desktop, tablet, and mobile versions without having to know really any CSS code. So it's a big advantage to using this plugin. To get a multi-step form, we have to create a step. And in order to do that, we'll have to create a step field. So I'm going to hit add item on this. And for the type of field, I'm going to select this dropdown and go all the way to the bottom where it says step. Now what that does is it creates a step in the form. So you can see how it's changed on the front end. So we have this counter here that shows that we have multiple steps to the form. And this button changed from send message to next. Now, anything that we put underneath this field will go on to the next page. So if I put in another text field and I put in name, you can see it doesn't show up on this page. It will show up on the next step. So if I preview this, let me show you what I'm talking about. So we'll just hit preview and you can see that I have step one and two. So that indicates that we have a next step. The button now says next. And if I start to fill out some information and hit next, so you see now we're on step two. So we have to put in that name field and then if we hit send message it will send the form properly so going back to our form in elementor we can add as many fields as we want to each step we just have to make sure that whatever is going on page two goes underneath this step field so we can have as many steps as we want we can have as many fields as we want you just have to make sure that they're organized properly in this form. One thing that you might want to do is create the entire form as you want it and then add the steps in later because it is a little tricky to see what's going on if you can't see it. So once you have those steps in there, it automatically creates that new page and you can't really see what is behind uh, page two. So if I remove that, you can see now that we have this field. So it just makes it a little bit easier in my opinion to create all of the fields that you need first, 
have it look a certain way and then add the steps in and just drag those step feels to where they need to be. Overall, I do think that using Elementor Pro's form widget really does make things like this very easy to do. In the past, I've used other form plugins and they just didn't work as well. They were really hard to style. They didn't uh, seamlessly integrate into my website and I just didn't really like to use them. So I really love Elementor Pro for including this multi-step functionality because it does make my life as a web designer very easy. So that's it. We created a multi-step contact form using Elementor Pro. It wasn't too hard, was it? Let me know in the comments what kind of form you'll be creating for your website. And if you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because we make new tutorials here every week. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.